Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. We have a dirt mind. <laughs> Don't we all? Uh, share, regard, post-intelligence. Yeah, we were intelligent, but we're, not, we're now in a post-intelligence world. Uh, follow steak. This is steak like not the meat. There's a few different meanings. Observe interest. <laughs> Put put your money in the bank and observe the interest. All right, column secrets. Ooh, the secret of spreadsheets. We have poll information. Okay, that it is voting year. And percentage pillar. <laughs> what percentage of your basement is pillar? All right. Um, what stands out to me? Like percentage, right? Like what would percentage actually go with? I mean, percentage and column are both spreadsheet languages, language words, spreadsheet words, but maybe not percentage. What else would we? interest you know investment related terms could be seems a bit off though stake like your, your stake in something your percentage of something just your portion of it right what else would mean that though your share of it okay i think this is right i just need to find the fourth one why can't i find it oh your interest in it okay so it's not like interest like a bank pays you interest or it's not interest like you're interested in it it's interest like you have an interest in some in like a company it means you you have a portion of it nice allotment that was the blue i do have plus two to purple today for my shirt so hopefully that'll make purple easier uh what else stands out to me now um secrets maybe i'm, I'm thinking it might go with information but i'm not entirely sure uh, i don't see an obvious like connection here so let's pick a different word intelligence maybe Okay, intelligence, it could be like the thing spies gather, right? They, spies gather intelligence. They gather secrets. They gather information. And they get dirt on you. All right. Hey, the plus two to purple worked. Gathered by, it was literally the category too, gathered by spies. I thought it would be something a little bit more like generic. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, I'll take it. Uh, we're down to the, the yellow and the green. Pillar and column and post and pull are just literally cylindrical things that hold things up. Upright support. Yeah, that's what I said. Cylindrical things that hold things up. Okay, and then regard, follow, mind, and observe. I mean, these are just like looking at something, like giving your attention to something maybe would be the, the best way to put that. Heed as rules. Oh, it's a little bit different. Heed as rules. So you're, this is like a crossword clue style wording here, but... um you follow the rules, you mind the rules, you observe the rules, you regard the rules. I think mine worked too, but I mean, whatever. It's I got the category right. I did perfect today. Um, I feel like I did well. I feel like this wasn't that straightforward. I'm trying to think what the red herrings were. I think there was definitely a red herring between in interest and percentage and share to think that maybe we were investment-related terms. But what would you want to put in with that? That's kind of the problem, right? And they do go together. So they're trying to get you to one away and not put stake in there. But honestly, I don't see what else would go in there. So I don't think that works. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know if you got caught by any like red herrings. I'm not, I'm not immediately seeing them. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know how you did. And if you'd like to watch more of my solves, why not watch Strands next? Strands has been appearing on the For You page, so maybe it'll appear for you. But if it doesn't, you can go uh, to the mention in the description to Ranks Play Strands. Let's do the mini crossword for April 17th. Let's go chinese greeting that literally means you good uh not sure best in show for one award maybe ballroom music question mark i don't know something like tango but it's a play on words so we'll we'll hold off modify as a hem uh uh like tailoring um to trim no it doesn't fit i don't i'm not sure i'll have to skip that was out in front. Okay, well, hopefully the downs help. Absolutely nothing. Nada. The nothing being less formal means it's a less formal word. You can count on me in quotes. I'm thinking a word is correct, but I'm not sure what this would be. It's something you'd say in place of you can count on me. Um, not sure. Quickness. Not sure either. Like a rainbow's path, an arc? Arced, maybe? That could work. Stinky tofu has a strong one. Smell. Okay, a word is not right. Maybe art, that means art is wrong too. Um, 
because this would be a oh i was gonna say smell but actually okay let's go back let's put a ward back and let's put arc back i thought this would be smell but i didn't realize it was four length or i didn't realize smell was five long either way doesn't fit odor okay okay i think i'm right so far um let's go back here oh is it nihao okay you can count on me i it's two words i I will? I don't know if I like I will. Let, let's look at this. Oh, disco. Ballroom music, disco, because of the disco ball. That's funny. Uh, modify as ham. Alt as ham. <laughs> I'm going to alter your ham. All right. This is haste and, and lead. Okay. Um, let's look these over again. Ni hao. Okay. Um, I just couldn't come up with what hello in Chinese was off the top of my head. But now that I, once I got a few letters, I remembered. Best in show award I actually got correct ballroom music disco that's a that's a fun one modify as a hem is alter should have thought of that probably but just didn't come to mind was out in front led absolutely nothing nada yeah and that that informal answer to the informal clue I will you can count on me I will yeah okay quickness is haste art was actually correct and odor nice how'd you do and if you want to watch more of my solves, why not watch the Wordle next? You can uh, click the uh, mention in the description for Ranks Plays Wordle. Let's do strands for April 17th. Today's theme is the long run. And I need to tell you something. Uh, I did the whole thing and forgot to press record. This is an incognito tab. I'm going to recreate my solve. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I shouldn't just publish a video, but... This this is this is how it went. So I thought the long run, and I immediately thought marathon, and I immediately saw M A here, and I and I managed to path marathon right away, and I got the spanogram. Then I thought about this S P E for a while. I thought I could find like spectator or spectate, but I couldn't find anything, so I gave up on that for a bit. And then I saw train over here, and I thought for sure that would be in, and it wasn't. So then I thought maybe we were like extending the word train, like from a prefix or a suffix, and I did find trainer. I then thought about this C for a while because I was like, well, CE doesn't look very good. So I thought about COU. And it took me, it took me a little bit, but I eventually found course here. And then I immediately saw gate. And then um, and then I thought about pace, how we have this P, and I thought about pace, and I found pace here, and that gave me speed. And I, so I was looking at the wrong SPE. I should have been looking at that SPE. Then I thought I was done until I realized there's a whole top section here. And then I immediately saw track. And then I saw there's one word left. And then um, uh, this was basically a carousel moment for me. It took me probably longer than the rest of the puzzle to find this word. Um, I, I was trying to do like a TRI word or something like that. Um, trying to focus on how we're getting this R out of here or whether we start with the R. Um, then I brainstormed uh, things that you that would be related to marathons. So like I thought of stuff like um water and carbs and spectators and cheering and finish lines um and uh but none of that really clicked so then i started just logicking this and i saw that we had ion so i thought maybe we ended in ion so we probably ended in tion and then i thought well is it going to be ution or ition so i decided to highlight ition to visualize that and nutrition popped out once i had that so I got nutrition that way, but it was it was a bit of a struggle. And I also passed it wrong that way. So then I ended up, uh, I think I tried it twice and did it wrong. So um, I ended up clicking it like this. Oops, I'm doing it wrong again. Nutrition, like that. And I clicked it. <laughs> oh, I did it wrong again. Oh my gosh. Let's do it slowly. Nutrition. Okay. So that's a reenactment of <laughs> by accident of how I failed to do that. Um, and uh, I'm not, I don't know what the total time was. I'll let you know later. I'll have to look at. Actually, I have no idea what the total time was because I didn't record it. So no timer today, I guess. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was my strand solve. Hopefully that reenactment worked out for you. I didn't record it. I didn't press record. This is the first time in a long time I've forgotten to press record. So hopefully it doesn't continue to happen. But there we go. That was my solve. Uh, let me know how you did. I thought this was a pretty fun one. Um, I liked how I found Marathon right away. The theme, I mean, the theme makes you think of Marathon, right? Like running marathons are the long run right um but you could get tripped up by the long run meaning like planning for the future like going for the long run rather than short-term gains so i could see someone getting tripped up on that but honestly marathon's right on the top left 
So I don't know. I, mean, I saw it right away. Um, and then it was cool brainstorming what words might be related to marathoning. So that was neat. I enjoyed that. So yeah, let me know how you did. And if you'd like to watch more of my solves, uh, this time they are not solves I'm reenacting, I, I promise. Uh, in the description, you can see my crossword for today, my mini crossword. So there's a ranks place crossword mentioned right there. You can just click right there.